Hey buddy, Sam back once again, and yes, very excited for this video, and this is going to be the unboxing for the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition. So as you can see there, the McLaren Edition. So let's have a quick look at the back of the box. So we are going to see there, it has got 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of memory. It is in the papaya orange, which is kind of like black with the orange accents. It looks bloody fantastic. I mean, I've not seen it in person. This is my first ever time seeing one in person. So I'm hoping it's going to look as good as what all the videos I've seen and all the pictures I've seen before. And I've had it for like about seven or eight hours now. And I've not been able to shoot this video till now. And look, as always, I've kept it as a true unboxing. Still not even opened. Obviously, this tab opens up, another one does, but it seal's still not broken. So you're going to do it with me? Yeah, let's do it. This is a true unboxing. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? So let's have a quick look. Oh, so far, so far. I like it. Oh, look at that. Nice carbon fiber look. I like that one. As you can see, McLaren. And then OnePlus one there. And you should never settle. Obviously, OnePlus is slogging on there. I do want to say thank you to OnePlus for actually sending this out to me for the review purpose. I've actually also got the 7T... Uh, the normal 7T, which I'm going to do a uh, different videos on, and also compare it against this, which is the beast. And now the box is so long that I can't actually get it in a shot, so I have to kind of have it like this, because when I got like that, as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So I will probably keep it sideways for the majority of that. Let's have a look around here. Anything different? God, I love that orange color. Absolutely love it. And as you can see there, the OnePlus 7T Pro. Yeah. Oh man, it just it just feels good. It just feels quality. Let's have a quick look. And oh, orange on a oh, Telling you the black and the orange look, the accent and it just looks bloody fantastic. So let's have a take this up here as well. Oh, there she is. There's the phone. So here is the actual uh, booklet. So I think this is like all the information for guys to the phone and whatnot. Let's see if there's anything uh, different about it. So here's the invitation letter which we'll come to in just a moment or two. We've got the contact information for OnePlus. It's this one here. I mean, it's just like kind of more, more information. Oh, there we go, regards to what the phone is, um, front camera, etc., etc. which we all know that. I mean, come on, it's a, that's a OnePlus. We all know what this is about. And that fantastic little SIM eject, which I still got my original OnePlus from my original OnePlus One, because that's the first... And only OnePlus I've had since then. Um, I don't know why. So this is my first OnePlus after the original. So, you know, let's see uh, see how they've stepped up the game. And what's this one here? It says it's an invitation letter. So should I open this one here? Yeah, let's have a good look. What are we saying? What are we saying? It says, friend, OnePlus and McLaren started their journeys 2-0 down, facing direct competition with established players. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to read through all of it. It's basically some information with regards to the two companies, with regards to how, obviously, they, uh, they kind of aligned together. That's a nice little touch, is that? I do like that. That's pretty cool. So let's stick all that back in its little uh, sleeve. If we can, uh, something else in there, actually? There we go. Oh, I think this is like the standard OnePlus one as well. So it's the kind of probably the warranty information. So that's a shame. That should have been like the rest of them. You know, but I guess I don't know. Yep. Let's stick this in here. Voila 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 voila. I can go to the side as well as this little bad boy. It's like that. Would have been nice if it had been orange or black. Just a little heads up. So what's this one? I guess this is oh it's for that supercharger. Which I think they call is it the walk charger, 30 watts, if I'm not mistaken. I do like the again the colouring on this. They really do go all out, don't they? Huh? See the little orange one in there? Orange on there. That's how that it's a bit of a brick, but it's fast, so that's what we really care about. What else are we getting? Here's the actual star of the show, which is the phone itself. We'll stick that off to the side just there. What else we get inside here? Oh, look at that. Look at that for a cable and a half, eh? So you get a nice braided cable. Get that to focus in there for you. So 
with some pretty nice braided cable there. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that's nice as that. Again, a nice little touch you do get with the phone. And is there anything else in the phone in the box? I don't think there is, but let's have a look. Does anything else pull out? Oh, something falls off here. Um, okay. I've actually never watched an unboxing of this phone. So, but I knew there was a case. I've seen people with a case, but I didn't know if we were actually going to come inside this box. And that is one nice looking case. Oh, hell to the yeah. Look at that. The McLaren branding there. The OnePlus. Camera cut out. And it does cover everything, and it's got the cutout for the camera at the top as well. That is pretty damn cool, is that? I like that. Is there anything at this side? I don't think there is. But then again, I didn't know that was in the box either, so... Yep, I don't want to break the box. That's pretty damn cool, is that? I like this box set up. See, as soon as it's a little arrow, I thought, you know, something's got to be there. Something's hiding from me. So what I'm going to do is going to stick all this back in there because, let's be honest, you've come to look for the phone, haven't you? You've come to have a look at the phone. Which way did it go in? Did it go like that? There we go. Happy days. Let's just stick all this back in there. That is a fantastic unboxing experience. So well done to OnePlus slash McLaren if they had an input on that. It's a fantastic uh, unboxing experience, is that? So let's have a quick look underneath here. Again, I've played with the seven, the actual 7T. I've been playing with that with a bit today. But this one I've not. Oh, that's a nice looking phone, isn't it? Huh? Look at that. Let's turn it over. Okay, let's just take the stickers off as well. All right, it. Put that sticker on the plastic for them. There we go. Look at that. Damn, that's nice. I like. Some like it. Some like it a lot. As you see, it's got like that little shimmer around the edges as well. So honestly, when I first saw last year's version, and I saw like the orange, I thought, you know what? That looks, looks popping. The little orange kind of button there as well. That is a fantastic looking device. Got to admit, when I first look at it from the front, it really reminds me of my Huawei um, Mate, they think it's the, the Mate 20 Pro, just originally. That's what it originally kind of reminded me of with regards to the way the curves go. Obviously got a very Samsung-ish look as well, but also distinctively different as well, because obviously no cutouts. And on the back of it, yeah, that's nice, and it? That looks fantastic. You're not gonna you know, think that's any other phone, are you? If you do, you need your eyes checking. So I'll tell you what, let's just try the case on there while we're here. And we'll turn the phone on as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sam super like is this now. You know what? This could be my next phone. <laughs> That's bloody fantastic. Look at the car. So let's have a quick look around there. You see, he's got the perfect car. So, which you would expect it is a first party case. Once again, all fine and bloody fantastic. Little uh, silencer switch there, which again is that little orange color. It's just a little detail in it. There's little extras you just don't think about at times. Cut out for the camera. And then the volume up and down button. I like that a lot. How easy is it going to be to get off there? And get the actual case off there. Can it come off? It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I've got a couple of cases. And my God, they take forever to take off. So that's it. That's been the unboxing. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start the phone up. I'm going to play with it for a little bit. And uh, we'll come back. We'll see what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Oh, man, I love that. Look at it. It looks pretty fantastic, doesn't it? Huh? I'm absolutely loving that. Anyway, people, I want to say thanks for watching this unboxing. If you've got any questions you know what to do by now, hit me up in a comment down below. Do not forget to hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, all at Sam J. Pullen. Yes, every single one of them. If you are new to your channel, then please go on, smash that subscribe button. Go on, it's free. And go on, take a like. You know you want to. Look at that, it's pretty beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I am enjoying this phone. I've not even turned it on yet. Mm. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. And you'll hopefully see me. Well, probably you won't see me. But I think you're going to be seeing quite a bit of this little beauty in my next video. Damn. Yeah. Cheers, everyone.